Hey there. I'm not dead yet. Sorry. Some of the students at the dojo mentioned they have trouble putting on or wearing the orbi. I thought to myself, I'll make a video about it so everyone can watch and learn at home. It's actually really easy. Just, just follow me. You start on the left side of your hip. Notice that the majority of my belly is over top of the obi. For reference, my belly button's right here. Then you start by wrapping the obi around from left to right until you have three layers. Make sure that it's tight enough. It needs to support a sword later. I'm rather skinny, and I have a lot of obi left over. So I fold it back onto itself and tuck it away. You need the other end at the right side of your hip. Right there is perfect. Now you get the end, you know, the, the starting end, and pull it out from above so that it looks over, over the top. You make a simple knot with the end over the start and pull it tight. The start, the starting end, should point at the floor while the other end should be pointing upwards. Now you take the upwards end and slide it between the outer and middle layer. Make sure that it's tight. Grab the obi at the belly and the back and slide it to the right. Make sure that the knot is at your back and the obi sits comfortable around your hip. And we're done! As a bonus, let me get my bokto. You mount your blade like so. Right hand holds the saya, index finger on the tsuba. Then you point the tsuka to the right, putting the kojiri on the left side of your hip. Slide the saya between the inner and the middle layer. Yes, that's two layers deep. Bonus information, a wakizashi is worn over top between the middle and outer layer. The katanas, tsukagashira, should be in front of your belly button while the sword rests on your hip. Now the sagio. It usually goes through the ties of the hakama, but since I'm not wearing a hakama, I'll just put it between the outer layers of the obi. There you go. Okay, now I have to get going. I hope this video helped you and we'll see you soon.